this is the chance now. He's, as we said, he's already on 400 and uh, I believe nine Global Series ranking points. So if he gets this, as he said, if he wins his next game, he gets up to at least 700, then he can start looking towards the playoffs, in my opinion. Yeah, I'm not... I'm not really a fan of a prediction, to be honest. Um, I'd rather just see the game out um, for the simple fact that you never know which which way it's going to go in FIFA. You've got hashtag Harry, who some would say more of like an entertainer, more of a that sort of content creator. He's a FIFA pro at the end of the day. That's what he is. That's what he gets paid to do. That's why he's on this hashtag roster, because he's one of the best FIFA players in the world. And this is the time to show it. This is the time to prove it. The man behind him coaching him right now, you've got Shory there. He's done it. He's proven it. He's probably in the playoffs. He's one of the best players at Hashtag this season. This is Harry's chance to shine. Exactly that. We've had a lot of chat about Harry, but on the other side of that, let's have a little word about Bitfrank and obviously that SPQR uh, organisation that have created so many fantastic oh. Brazilian players. Obviously, Senna was on their books at one period, and then now Ajax Tour used to be a member of the SPQR team, and... They've got a lot of Brazilians on their books, and you know it's no surprise why there are just are so many at events nowadays. Whether it's you know with the likes of M10 Resende or obviously Senna, a free agent now. I got the opportunity uh, a little while ago. We were coming through. So yeah, what this could be the opening goal Oof. of the game. We were, we were coming through Qatar Airport, Brandon, and there were a whole group of the SPQR team there. It's a family. You've got uh, one of the coaches, one of the I think one of the co-owners, he was there with his family. He brought the kids with him, he brought his wife with him. Everyone were there together. They were looking after their players. It's that family vibe and you've got two different teams right now in Hashtag and SBQR who go on the same morals. Bring the players together and you're going to see results. Well, here we go then. Two legs of FIFA in our quarter-final stages here for the Gfinity LQE of March. Both players looking to channel maybe uh, their friends in the scene. You've got Harry with the Liverpool badge and Bit Frank with the Ajax kit. And you, you can also see there as well, Richard, the results from Swiss style format. Harry went 3 0 yesterday. Only two players could do that on each console, and it was obviously Rebel Stokes and Hashtag Harry making that two UK players only having to go 3 0 when they went back to the hotel and relaxed. You heard it best, you know, Carl mentioned how he spoke to Harry. You can be good in Swiss style format. When you come to the knockout stages, it's a completely different story. Yeah, 100%. How many times do you see people go 3-0, 5-0 in Swiss and then get knocked out first round of the day in that first elimination game? We see it all too many times. It's going to be Bit Frank now with his first chance of the game. It's going to be a shot from Messi that does take a wicked deflection out for a corner now. Watch out for Rude Hullet at that front post. I don't think you can even see Cristiano Ronaldo anywhere to be seen. Oh, no, there he is at the front post there, number seven. Headed back out to Vieira. Into that R9 now, obviously a fellow Brazilian. He's going to be very keen to use him. You know, we mentioned about Harry playing against Brazilians. I think it was back in Manchester last year. Obviously, the second Foot Champions Cup of the year. And he, he kept on playing against Brazilians. And he was in a bit of a Twitter debate with them all. I'm sure they will remember back to that now. As he does open up the score in here. 16 minutes on the clock. And it's actually going to be a Brazilian that does score it as well. R9 Ronaldo. Made it look so, so simple as well. Long goal kick. Punted maybe 70 yards down the pitch, picked it up out wide, and instead of crossing into the box, instead of cutting back, it was just a normal driven pass, I think it was, into his feet, into our nine. You see Ronaldo getting down the wing here, just a driven pass into our nine, running onto the ball, left footed strike past the goalkeeper, and hashtag Harry gonna take the lead here inside the opening 20. I think it was, what were we, 5 0, oh, I think, last season against uh, Brazilian players. Yeah. Manchester probably his best tournament apart from the Spencer FC game, game Academy win in FIFA 16. He got top eight in Manchester and then went out of the competition against Herosia, I believe, in the quarterfinals. See, that was enough for him to get a playoff spot last year. And we're looking to do it again this year now, as we say, we're approaching the latter stage of the FIFA 19 Global Series. Yes, we still got a foot Champions Cup, E Nations, for the players that are involved with those 20 nations. And obviously, two LQEs, if you're lucky enough to play in the, uh, the Champions League as well. You've even got that one as well. Still so much FIFA to come. Here comes Harry again now with another Brazilian in Neymar. Going to get intercepted. That's a little bit risky across the bat there. But this is Bit Frank's first LAN event of the year, potentially of all time. He's not happy with something, he's Bit Frank. Early pause queued here, 22 minutes-ish into the game. See Van Dijk back there doing the defending. 
for Harry has chosen to use that team of the year. Virgil van Dijk looks like alongside Rafael Varane at the heart of the defence. Ramos pushed over to right back. It's a That's a great ball, ball. Through as well, and he seems to be finding loads of space here behind that back line. You wouldn't even expect him to take that shot on that right bottom corner, but he went for it, and it was kind of unpredictable for him. Into the pause though for Bit Frank. We can't see the changes he's going to be making for Hashtag Harry. No changes are on, really needed to be made. Pretty standard team as well from Hashtag Harry. Nobody really out of position, nobody really playing in an unusual position, I think it's safe to say as well. I think that was CR7 over at right cam, and then R9 leading the line. Only real change that you might usually see, sometimes you'll see R9 in at central cam and CR7 leading the line, but maybe playing into that back post header for CR7. It was Neymar and Mbappe making up the other two central attacking mid spots for him. Holly and Vieira holding down the fort at CDM. On the side of Bit Frank, it looks like we're seeing Holly in action in midfield alongside Vieira and then Alexandro over at left fullback. Got Messi starting as well, Richard. Pele also starting for him. He's a big fan of that team of the year. Lionel Messi. He's finding himself 1 0 down. Though. A lovely ball through again. This is going to be Neymar. You know, we all saw Harry do a lot of these kind of crosses to the back post. El Tornado across. I remember seeing it, what, just about a month and a bit back. And it was one of the originators, I think, uh, Harry. He's also one of the most, I, I often say, he's one of the most naturally gifted FIFA players. Um, he always seems to adjust to the game really well. And he's naturally good because if you've seen the teams that, yes, I know Weekend League isn't as much of a big statement now, but you go back a year, it was. And yes, it, you know, it, it, was, it was fun videos to make for him, but he was still getting good records with, you know, with bronze teams, silver teams. And as you said, that natural ability that you know, he potentially has over other players now. Bit Frank now. It's such a tight angle. So anything, unlucky. A huge opportunity he missed for him. That'll go in maybe nine times out of ten there from Bit Frank. He's gone for the low driven. I think if he just power shots that at the near post, he's probably got a better chance of that guy actually going in. Especially if I was to time that. But Bit Frank shows that he's 100% in this game. He had a few chances as well. It's a horrible touch from Ramos, but a natural instinct there just to come forward and make that tackle. There are a number of other games taking place at the minute as well. The other player who did finish 3-0, and oh, Tom Stokes. He is in action. Take it on extra. Well, we've seen some upsets over on the PlayStation. You have to say, we'll see the semi-finals that we have got now in front of us. You've lost to like Samoa Alba. Houston's gone. All across the box now. Pele cuts back inside. How's he missed that one? Bit Frank doesn't even know either. We don't know. On the replay here. You don't miss that one, Messi. He's had two chances now, which should be goals, in all honesty. That one from Messi and then the early one with Ronaldo, which struck the upright. Just shows that there is room in behind that defence and Bit Frank will continue to create chances. There's a reason he's in the top eight on his side of things on the Xbox. There's a reason as well how he's already guaranteed himself 150 Global Series ranking points on top of the points he's already got. He'll be looking to, to get towards that 300 mark. Hashtag Harry though has other ideas. Just a lovely little scoop cross to the back post. And Ooh. Went for a awful incredible awful. effort, but wasn't even on target. Yeah, awful from Ronaldo there. You see. Harry's results from yesterday started with a very, very tough penalty shootout victory and then sort of worked his way into things. He became a lot more calm and composed throughout the day. And also two things that both players have in common. I think they both played Kersal, obviously the French player, and Maxi at different stages in Swiss style format. Obviously they both made it through as well. The other side of that, you've got a player that has not lost this weekend, yeah, and hashtag Harry. And there goes the half-time whistle, Richard. He looked distressed at half-time, did Harry there. He's had a couple of chances, the back post crosses on a couple of different occasions would be going in. Um, He's had two main chances. Even another two. The goal he scored and that El Tornado yeah. cross at the end. But Bit Frank's had two chances that he should have scored as well with Ronaldo at the near post and then that chance with Messi towards the end of the first half. So this game is really in the balance right now. There might be over 200 spots separate and in the Global Series rankings. However, on the pitch, it's very, very even. 
after you could say a quarter of this game finished. We're going to be playing two legs in all of the games here today. And obviously without Tex involved in this Xbox side, it was very open, but it's Messi leaping up for a header. I haven't seen that one for a while. Now, team of the year, Leo Messi, so, so good in the air. He got such a good upgrade on his attacking stats, his physicality. Heading, jumping through the roof. The point I wanted to make was that obviously there's no text this weekend. Obviously, you have got Mr. Sari in there that you can't really look past, but it's an opportunity for other players to gain it, to, to get to the last four. Do you not feel like Desari's been quite quiet this weekend? Like, I don't, we don't feel like we're talking about him a lot. We didn't go 3 0. He's the world champion. The... <laughs> like, I just feel like he's got a little bit under the radar, which might sound ludicrous to say, but I feel like. All eyes at the minute are on Harry and Stokes. They were the guys that went 3-0 in the home country. Interested to see how he gets on. And the likes of PSG Dax as well. There's been a lot of focus on the PlayStation, given how stacked it's been this weekend. Of course, but this... that has been natural. To do so! Off the pose from Cristiano Ronaldo. Harry knows that was a golden opportunity for him. On the Xbox, we've seen... If you could have pinpointed four players that you thought would have done well, it would have been Desari, Stokes, Dax, and then Harry. They were the four so-called big names. All four of them are through to the quarterfinals. Once again to the back post. This time it's worked for him. Cristiano Ronaldo. And that routine celebration for him. The thing we're seeing from Harry here is either an El Tornado cross, just a little scoop up and cross it over it's because been... if you get it to Ronaldo every single time it's going to make it difficult yeah that's the reason he's playing in right cam it's what he's been looking for all game really that scoop cross to Ronaldo at the back post he's been looking to utilise it Just try and try again and in the end you will have success if you're a player playing against that and you know that that's how he's going to play would you change your team? Well, we saw it didn't we in uh, Singapore with Zazinho and Stefano Pina um, he put Ronaldo over to right cam, Zazino put Ramos to left back, he then switched him back to left cam, Pino, and it was just back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. A bit Frank needs to take an opportunity here. Messi, instead of actually giving away the foul, but would you, obviously you don't want to disrupt the way you play as a player, but if you know that, you know, Harry, yes, he's got, you know, a huge bundle of skills he can use, but we have seen, you know, doing El Tornado across before. Would you put in someone at left yeah, back? Yeah, 100%, because the main reason it's such an effective way of scoring this year with Ronaldo at the back post. So you have to change something, whether that be, we've seen Hullet deployed at left back, we've seen Van Dijk move to, to left back, Ramos move to left back. There's multiple things that you can do. However, sometimes the attacking player will still win it, no matter what you do. If that cross is good and it gives, if there's a lot of hang time and there's a lot of the ball in the air, Ronaldo's gonna win it. He's well, gonna attack he's, the ball and he's gonna win it. He's just naturally, you know, when you often see, you know, I'm going to go even far as this. When you know, when FIFA's made, and and and, it, and you know, they go and record the real life movements of a player. Link that in with what the 99 jumping and the you know the the balance, all those in-game stats. It's just a natural. We've seen that in real life, of, yeah. don't you? Like Champions League, Ronaldo winning headers at the back post. That is what he does. He's an unbelievable player, and that's why you know he's undoubtedly the, the best finisher in the game still for me. Vieira now into Ronaldo. No real conviction on the shot there for Bit Frank. And if anything, it's been a game of missed opportunities this first leg for Bit Frank. He had two massive opportunities in that first half. This, you know, in this half, he hasn't really had much to do, I agree. Yeah, very tame effort with Ronaldo. That's actually going to run all the way through to Alexandro. So, Harry, the opportunity to put a little bit of pressure on the defensive capabilities of Bit Frank. Also, as well, if he can get himself three goals up here, Richard, it's cruising. That's, that's going to carry him through to that second leg. However, on the other side of it, if Bitfrank can get a goal back, this game is wide open yet again. Ronaldo into Ronaldo into Messi with the shot. It was time green. Just past the post there from Bitfrank. Did really well to fashion that opportunity. Time green shot from Messi and just flew past the post there. Seen a couple of changes coming out here from Harry. And of course, the mother of, uh, I believe, Bit Frank is, uh, is in the crowd. I'm supporting Harry. 
coming all this way for a massive tournament as well. Obviously, you know, some people get to travel uh, across the world um, uh, to, to come and watch, you know, their, their sons or their members of the family playing FIFA events, Richard. And she'll be, thinking, yeah, she'll be having her fingers crossed. Hopefully, he can pull a goal back here, which will be massive, as I said, heading into that second leg for him. Obviously, we were speak, speaking about Bajot yesterday. Went out in Swiss style, didn't he? He brought his girlfriend across the event with him. No, I wonder if... Uh, if Harry does go through maybe to the semi-finals, maybe even into the console final, you might see more of the, the hashtag players coming down and supporting him potentially. It looks like we have got an issue here. I'm sure we, we'll, we'll be able to jump over to another game that's taking place in the quarterfinals right now. I think that was like the 79th minute roughly where that game uh, did run into an error. However, Harry leading two goals to nil. And as I was saying there, maybe you're going to see maybe Spencer coming down, coming down <laughs> and supporting him if he does go through in that quarter final. But plenty of FIFA left to be played there uh, in that tie. Yeah, I think as well, the, the, the point I want to talk about is I saw, obviously, you know, the hashtag legend, uh, Wes Tanser, you know, like I think yesterday morning, I was speaking about, speaking about like, how is Harry feeling? Is this a tournament where He's, he's going to go and do well because obviously you know Harry's a bit from personality. He likes to have a good time, and you know when it is FIFA time, when it is tournament time, you see a different Harry. You see the serious side of you know what you're there to do. You're there to be a pro, and everyone's been saying about Harry's weekend. This is his chance to go and do well. He's yeah. going to do well. He's really this up is, for this. This is the preparation he's been looking at. Probably the most open Xbox tournament you'd say as well. There's only like there's on the PlayStation you had big name, big name, big name. On the Xbox you had Dax. Harry, Stokes and Desari. And then apart from that, you had a couple of names sprinkled in there that we've seen competing. However, a lot of fresh faces on the Xbox side of things, this tournament um, going on. I'm just looking down uh, to my right right now. We can see all the stations set up. It looks like the issue was only with Harry's game. All the other games are taking place uh, still right now. We're going to have a look at the goals from the Harry game, see how he is uh, currently in the lead, two goals to nil. Just this one was a very simple goal for him. Just a, a long goal kick. Played a lovely driven ball into the path of R9. He put Harry 1-0 up, 16 minutes on the clock. And it was the second goal here where we saw a lovely scoop cross to the back post. Even made Alexandro a uh, guess there, Richard. And it was Ronaldo with the leap, as we're used to saying, the back post header that can be so deadly made him go 2-0 up. And I think we've got about 10 minutes left of that game, plus another leg to come soon. And you know I've got him in hand. I've the got stats, a trusty little... First leg update for you. Uh, this is as it stands right now. Stokes an extra 3-3 three, three, um, during the first leg. Oh, okay. We'll be moving into the second leg very shortly in that one. Uh, I'll let Hensu versus Desari. What do you think the score is um, after the first leg? 3-1 Desari. 2-2. Two, two. So we've got another draw All to there. play for. And um, VIP uh, makes VIP versus Dax. Prediction? 2-0 Dax. 1-1. One, one. Three draws <laughs> as it's going into the second leg. Hashtag Harry, the only player currently leading uh, during or after that first leg has been finalised. That first game, what was it? Rebel against Extra. 3-3 three, three the scoreline. Yeah. Good game. That's massive for Extra as well. You know, we saw him a little bit in Atlanta. Uh, Stokes we've seen as well. We've seen him at the EPL event with Manchester United, which he was you know gutted not to go all the way through. He lost in a golden goal finish against Jonesy there. Um, so this is big. This is massive for him to go and uh, to, to go and do really well. And and, you know, we have still got that second leg to come up um, against Harry. You know, will he be able to go that far? It's going to be interesting to see. Yeah, if you are just joining us, uh, the game ran into a little bit of an issue on the 79th minute. So we are going to uh, play the next 11 minutes of the game. We're going to start from the 79th minute, I believe, and finish the game as it stands. Harry leading two goals to nil as it stands. You see the man on your screen right there. I think the problem has been resolved looking over towards the station. It looks like we are getting ready to get back into this game. Uh, 79 minutes on the clock, so 11 minutes remaining in this first leg. If you are just joining us here at the Gfinity LQE here in March, 850 Global Series ranking points for the winner of each console. Of course, you may have seen me holding that check earlier as well to $8,750 as well as you do get for winning the event. But just to get yourself to the cross console finals, the big thing, Richard, to get yourself those all-important Global Series ranking points, which could send you to the finals, could send you to the playoffs. And you said it perfectly, Richard. Here we are. This is where we left the game. 2-0 to hashtag Karen. It's great we've got this eSports edition of the game where we can go to any point with the same kind of stamina as well for some of these players. We'll see, as we know, the likes of Ronaldinho, Modric subbed on for Harry. Ronaldinho, in fact, actually in possession now. Great feet as well as he runs into the box, tries to play that one across to Pele. Will it fall back to Pele? Yes, it will. The shot was there. I don't know how Ronaldo did not get onto the rebound. Yeah, absolute pinball there in the box. It was hectic. 
Like a boy in a china shop. The ball just bounced around. The pressure from Harry here. Pele will pick it up and he is fresh. Is he going to cross it? Doesn't even want to. A few croquettes there to try and get around his man. Again, ball comes back to Harry. Bit Frank struggling to get out of his own half here. All he can do is just stand and block every single shot, but the rebounds are falling back to Harry. He can keep himself about conceding a goal, have a clean sheet going into that second leg. It'll be massive for the UK player. Bit Frank now, this is his chance, and that's a big goal. A massive goal for him, 88 minutes in here. And that set up this second leg perfectly. Yeah, I'm wondering if a small delay in the game potentially could have thrown either of these two players off. It, it probably helped Big Frank more than it helped Harry. Just a simple fact, it gave him a little bit of time to get out of the game, just to calm himself down, to reassess, maybe get a little bit of uh, advice from his coach, stood behind him and start the game strong. And you see, got the goal back here as Big Frank to half the deficit to a 2-1 scoreline right now. Saw the finish there as well, through the legs of David Ayer. Needs to be doing a little bit better there. Added time of two minutes. Not long left at all, just a few seconds, real life time. Harry will be looking to go into this second leg. Two goals to one up in the quarter-final stages here at the Gfinity LQE. And that will conclude us for leg number one, Richard. 2-1 the score to the man on your screen right there. Hashtag Harry. Yeah, so we're going to get shortly into the second leg. 2-1 the scoreline after that first leg. You see hashtag Shorey behind him there with that little vlog camera getting a bit of footage, a bit of content for hashtag. And now going in, a few words on the other side of it. I think SPQR deep in there in conversation right now. Just looking across the stage, it looks like all the other games currently taking place right now for the second leg of action. And they were all draws as well. You know, you mentioned yep. it perfectly. It was, it was uh, the first game, Stokes. Uh, was it was in a free free draw there uh, up against his opponent in extra uh, MS Desai was drawn against Henso and in the last game of the day Maxi VIP the USA player first time out of Swiss style format for him for a very very long time up against Dax but someone else out of Swiss style for a very long time Webb Nasri yeah. he's in the semi-finals over on the PlayStation and uh, we are on the Xbox right now if you have just joined us and you want a little PS4 update you're going Richard give me a PS4 update I can provide that information for you. Um, Lev Vinken knocking out Stefan Alpina. Three goals to two. Uh, Ouston versus Nicholas. It was Nicholas 99 with a 7-5 victory against Ouston. Uh, you had Feldman. The other side was a bit more of the upsets, I'd say. Versus Fafilza. Feldman 3-2. And then get ready for this. Mo Auber versus Web Nazri. Web Nazri, a big team, six goals to two. That means either Feldman or Nazri is going to be in the final. And it means as well that they're going to be guaranteed themselves at least 450 yeah. Global Series ranking points, which for Robbie Feldman, is huge. that's a playoff spot yeah. for, for him. And Webb Nasri, it's like the form of the playoffs again we're seeing from, from him. I mean, he loves playing the Manchester City kits. Nothing to do with Manchester City, nothing to sign <laughs> Manchester City. A Japanese FIFA pro that's been all around to so many events, but just really struggled to get out of the Swiss style format. We're going to have a look at some of the goals now. And I think potentially from uh, that hashtag Harry game. And he did go. Obviously 1-0 up, 17 minutes into the game here. Lovely threaded through ball into R9. Played that ball there. And he did actually go 2 and up again. Mbappe into Ronaldo. Tried to cut back inside. Went all the way over to Cristiano Ronaldo. And a fantastic goal there. The two goals to Neil. And there was a goal back, though. Obviously, we jumped back into the game with 11 seconds left. Went inside there. Somehow through the legs of David De Gea. And in the end, that did finish by two goals to one, Richard. And there was still such a, you know, a long, long time to go here. And you mentioned it perfectly. People coming out to watch their friends, their teammates, and everybody's on the, on the screen now here at the Gfinity Arena. Yeah, it's starting to fill up here in the Gfinity Arena here on Super Sunday. Lots of uh, potential Global Series ranking points and prize money up for grabs. But if you were a player, Brandon, you've got that coach there in your ear. They're in there. They're saying they're analysing the game. Just having that fresh pair of eyes on you at all times, looking what your opponent's doing, constantly breaking it down. That's what some of the best coaches are doing. That's what an Alan Brin's doing. That's what I often say, mover. One of the best, in my opinion, out there. Just for getting in there as that second pair of eyes and saying, look, he's actually, take more first-time finesse shots. Do this, do that. I know Enzo um, was 
having a little word with Tex in Singapore and the Resende game. He lost the first leg, Tex, 1-0 against Resende. He'd analysed this, Enzo, and in that second leg, just in the little break in between, he said, he's not closing you down first time, so first time shots, first time shots, every time you get it. What did Tex do? I think he scored three first time yep. shots in the first half of the second leg. He was 3-1 up and he went through with 4-1. In the end, he went on to win the tournament. Exactly that. For me, when I see a coach in FIFA, I look at three things. It's either a friend or you know, a family member, a pro, a fellow pro that you know could be a friend, or you've actually just got someone that's just a coach. You know, as yep. you said, an Alan Brin that just titles himself as a FIFA coach. And they all bring different things. When you've got a pro player coaching you, you've got someone that's knows exactly how you're feeling. Knows exactly yep. how you're feeling in that in the exact moment. You, if you've got a coach, you've got someone that maybe got a bit more of a uh, an analytical side to his game. He can you know break down the play. That's his job. With Fenton family, if anything, it's just someone just calming it's you just, down. It's just more as a you kind of like taking you yeah. away from the the sort of stressful situation. And if you can find someone who does all three, Romel Abdi, sort of guy who's <laughs> jack of all trades. He's a former pro player. He's a coach. And he's a friend. He can do everything. He's almost got a little bit of uh, bit of ma magic, you could yeah. say. He can do anything, uh, what it may be. A little bit like a spork, almost. He's just just a bit of a sport. <laughs> yeah. could just do everything. Everything for you uh, at the dinner table. But yeah, it's, it's an interesting one, the coach debate, because you know, there's people out there still say, do I need a coach? Some players like playing the coach. For example, the best example for me is, is obviously Maestro. Yep. Um, he, he tweeted out yesterday saying, I've done all these great things without know, in front a of coach. me. And I was like, I did, you did that without a coach because he's a player that just plays well without a coach. Other players need that coach. Yep. You, you said it perfectly about the F2 Tex Enzo situation. Tex came out at the end and went, I probably wouldn't have won Singapore if I didn't have those extra ideas from Enzo from, from Roman Fnatic that have helped his players, obviously the likes of Ranners, Dami, Zimmer, and do some, some amazing things here. But, you know, let's have a look at the players, obviously, that will be uh, jumping into the second leg for us. You've got Bit Frank, who, as uh, Wonderboy said, 322 in those Global Series rankings. And you jump into the top 100, 68th in those Global Series rankings. You have got hashtag uh, Just on Harry the there. cusp of in, being in the playoffs is Harry at the minute. So these next couple of tournaments are huge for him. In his FIFA 19 career, you'd say, if he can go on and get a good performance here, make a final, make a semi-final, he's almost going to book himself into the playoffs, wherever that may be. But he's got a big game in front of him. Bit Frank with a late goal to give himself a little bit of a, uh, you could say, comeback potential in this second leg. 2-1 right now, hashtag Harry does lead up against SPQR Bit Frank. Exactly that. 19 game minutes separates us from finding out who will be in the final four on the Xbox. It will be Bit Frank from left to right here who is trailing by a goal. Messi now to change that and he's changed it within three in game minutes here. A lovely little reaction as well from Bit Frank. Straight from kickoff, Bit Frank makes Harry pay with Lino Messi on the edge of the box. Smashed in off the crossbar. And we're back at a level game. I said he had a comeback potential. He's realised his potential inside three and a half minutes, has Bit Frank. You can see some of the scores coming in there. We left it at 3-3. Rebel Stokes, 6-3 up. Henzo beating the 2018 World Champion three goals to two. And that game still remains at 1-1 there. That's going to be an interesting game between Maxi VIP and PSG Dax. But this one, tell you what, it's a draw as well. Looking at that, that right hand side of your screen. The informed player to beat is, is Stokes. It's Tom Stokes, Rebel Stokes. What a pickup that has been for Rebel FC and Cal Friese over there. Alongside Painter, they've been doing bits, you'd say, recently. And Stokes unbeaten in this tournament. And Another goal. man who's unbeaten. Hashtag Harry. That goal could have just sparked something here, Richard. Messi, he played all last game. We didn't really see much from him. He had didn't one even, chance that he just completely put wide. Didn't even know you were on the pitch. I think we know he's on the pitch now. Three minutes in, he does score and puts this game all square at 1-1. Harry needs to respond. And hopefully that's exactly what he'll try and do. Yeah, cute football in around the box there. A little bit of one-touch passing, but... It went on a great angle for our nine to hit that volley goalwards. See hashtag Harry there playing in the hashtag United kit. The second year that the hashtag kits have been available in-game. It's great to see as well. See so many others involved yeah. in the game machine, including, in, obviously, Rogues. Rogue, Envy, Footwiz, Hashtag United. Many other teams and eSports Orgs available to use. 
just offside there. I think Harry wanted to play the advantage, but he's going to have to go back for the free kick. Marcelo will start. Interesting as well, his defensive back two there, Richard. Varane and Van Dijk. I've seen Van Dijk quite a few times this weekend. Yes, he's a fantastic player. He's actually using a full team of the year defence. Uh, Marcelo, Van Dijk, Varane and Ramos is hashtag Harry. Sometimes you'll see players using Maldini, Rio Ferdinand across that back four. Breaks all blue. There we go. Oh. It's, it's muscle memory. It's muscle memory for hashtag Harry. He knows it works. He's done it on weekend league. He's done it in qualifiers. Get it into Cristiano Ronaldo anywhere in the air. And if you can loft it and make it have even more time in the air, it gives Ronaldo that extra bit of room, the extra bit of time to kind of make his run up, to leap up. And that is why he's in everyone's teams. And if anything, would probably be the top goal scorer of the FIFA 19 competitive year. Ronaldo doing what Ronaldo does, scoring header goals in big games. Scoop up cross, Ronaldo leaps, Ronaldo scores, and Harry back in front in this quarter-final tie. Just still waiting for that left back that can challenge him. In the air. Pele into the air now. This is bit Frank. Back down by... I'm not sure there will be a left back that can challenge him in the air, in all honesty. It definitely won't be Mohamed Salah for birthday. <laughs> It'll be interesting to see, though, if there will be someone, especially out of team of the season, that can maybe challenge him. I don't even know where to think there. It'll be interesting to see as well how the meta changes throughout the year. He's a bit frank now with Pele. So a drag back for him. Very patient play around the edge of the box. Look at the numbers back, the yellow shirts for Harry. He knows how to defend. He's going to need to defend as well. Everyone back. Moving it really well here. Just needs to stay strong at the back. Does Harry, what, and that's just going to go wide. That would have been a fantastic goal from Big Frank. Harry were just sitting off, and Big Frank were just playing in front of him in that little area. Didn't look like anything were on, and then inside two passes, he's got the shot off. Really patient play from Bit Frank. Didn't want to force the ball out wide and force a cross into the box. And I've been really impressed with how Bit Frank's played. This is the first time I've seen him um, playing live over the course of the two days that we have been here in London and all the players that we've seen, this is their first tournament really. I've been very impressed with Biot yesterday, bit frank today. You see the scores as well, they're updating. Has been two goals in that top game, but the three goal advantage still does stand strong for Stokes. And just looking at that bracket, it will be the Dax uh, VIP game that will link into this one. And Harry yesterday went, just please, just please don't make me fa you know, face up against Dax. Please don't yeah, make us meet on the bracket. And they will be if, you know, if the scores do stay like this. He didn't want to meet Dax in the quarters, I think it was, because obviously Harry finished 3-0 and, and Dax finished 3-2. and two. So the potential that then match in the quarterfinals. And that was a game that he wanted to avoid at all costs. He has avoided it. Going into the semifinals, you can't really cherry pick who you want to play. And for, him, because for him now as well, Richard, sorry to interrupt, is that he will have 350 Global Series yeah. ranking points. So he, he, is, he will have 700 points minimum. Which will put him in good stead for those playoffs. Nearly at half time in our second leg here. You have joined us for Super Sunday. Down the Gfinity LQE, that's taken a flexion. He will go for a corner now. This is Harry with that corner. Make sure you get Ronaldo off it and watch out for Cristiano Ronaldo who's in that box. Neymar flicks it up, tries to play to the back post. Very, the very similar to what we've seen from Tex do from that sort of area there. Played short, El Tornado cross to the back post. See Bit Frank dominating the ball at the minute. 62% of possession in this first half so far from the Brazilian. It's a great tackle. I just feel like Messi's been a little bit bullied around there. I was playing central cam, which there's not really another position you can play him because out wide you sort of want physical players, Mbappe, Ronaldo. In that hole just behind the striker, that's where you can sort of pull the strings, but you're up against, on this occasion, Varane and Van Dijk, two powerhouses, six foot four, six foot three between them. 
will be the last attack of the half. Mbappe now, great feet for him, a little lofted ball into the box. Not Ronaldo this time. Someone else that can leap up and cause problems in the box. Rude Hullet. 94 overall, that prime icon moment. That dinked cross. Proving so, so vital for Harry in his success here for the Gfinity LQE. Dinked into the back post for Mbappe. A little bit of skill out wide as well. Just created the space for him. And look at Rude Hullet against his CDM partner in crime, Patrick Vieira. Big hair, don't care. Rude Hullet, the man for the job. And maybe that extra little bit of hair helping out to, uh, to smash it into the back of the net for him. But half time here in one of our quarterfinals. And he's got a two goal advantage, has the Englishman in hashtag Harry. In a must win game for him, you know, in kind of his, his overall FIFA 19 Global Series. Wins this, jumps up to, I think, exactly over 700 Global Series ranking points, and that will be enough for him. That'll be, you've got to say, for a top 60 finish. He's, he'll definitely be getting that. Oh, 100%. And you're looking at some of his results that he's had previously, looking throughout the tournament, 5-3, 7-2, and a 4-4 penalty shootout. You see Wes Tansa there on your screen, representing there Hashtag United <laughs> alongside... Lev Vinken. He will be in the semi-finals of the PlayStation. We'll be obviously looking at that after uh, these round of fixtures have gone. But obviously there's Bit Franks um, over there in the crowd. We'll be obviously just praying that you know, he can pull himself through. He does need two goals, though. He has got 45 in-game minutes. I want to see that first half from Bit Frank that, that we saw in almost, the first leg. Yeah, almost like the first. In that first 15 minutes then in that game, he was dominating the ball, he was creating chances, and then Harry just hit him with a header at the back post on two different occasions and just sort of sucker punched the, the wind out of him. Not the wind out of his sails, you'd say. And reclaimed his two goal cushion in this game. They'll be looking to kick on for that right now with a nice little finesse on the edge of the box. Just a word about Messi, you know, we were speaking about how he can be influential. I think for me, if you've got a Messi in a can position, when he's got the ball, he literally can only hold it for a few seconds because if he gets pressed, you know, he's going to get completely, you know, out of strength. He's going to be, you know, the CDM round him. The ball's going to Messi. You have about one second or two to get rid of it. Just play, get rid of it. And then when you get the perfect time of Messi, edge of the box when he has got that opportunity to take a shot, to take a finesse on that left foot. Otherwise, examples like that can happen. You saw Hullich bully him off of the ball there, but... Watch the run. He's he made drifts, that run. He drifts in behind. And that's where he can cause a problem now. Oh, nine. Sting in the hands of David De Gea there. You see that was his first save that he's made in this second leg so far, David De Gea. We talk about Bitfrank creating chances, but he's not tested the goalkeeper. Look at strength from Neymar. Lucky enough for him as well, that effort to switch the play does just fall back into De Gea. And this is where you can compose yourself as a FIFA player through, and you can just see Harry there. I'm sure he's got the best grip possible on his controller. With not long left. This is for a place in the semi finals, the last four in each console. And you actually jump into the prize pot as well at this point. $1,875 alongside those more important Global Series ranking points. And Harry probably looked at his tournament and said, That's a tournament that I can do well in. Just looking at some of the players that were competing in it, no disrespect to them, but. It's a massive opportunity for him, and if that went in, that would be a great goal. Surely that shot has to. It did, feel kind, it did fall kindly to Neymar, yes, but the build-up play to that, the chances. And once again, the comeback on the cards from Bitfrank. Neymar had the shot. I think it was uh, Virgil van Dijk sliding tackle. Managed to get a block on it, but very fortunate for Bitfrank. Ball rebounds back to him inside the box on the second time of asking. Makes no mistake. Team over the year, Neymar. And this is where the mindset is going to be a huge tester for Harry now. We said he's one of the best mental players in the scene. Let's see that in action right now. That's what you want to be seeing. If you are a hashtag fan, keep hold of the ball, frustrate your opponent, and see your way into the semi-final. There was one game to manage properly. This would be it. Almost take a leaf out your former teammate Tassa's book and just see the game out. Oh, that's a mistake. 
Oh, it could be a big one as well at that. What up, Van Dijk? Had to do well there. There we go, we can see some other games. Result, Stokes goes through, eight goals to four. And Mr. Sari's turned that one round. He was 3-2 down at one point, now he's 5-3 up. And Dax is through as well. So Dax will be playing one of these two in the semi-final stages. Unfortunately for Maxi VIP, out of the competition, but a very close scoreline there, three goals to two. Will there be a fourth goal here for Bitfrain? That one's taken a deflection, it's been blocked. It's fallen back into Ramos, though. So it looks like we're setting up for a potential Stokes versus De Sari semi-final as well. I'll tell you, that'll be an amazing game. A player that's been in the scene for a long, long time in Stokes. Could say they kind of like just come back. Stokes already beat him. In Swiss, 7-3, I think it was. He beat him in Swiss style. We'll be looking forward to replicating that result again. In the semi-final. The goal for Harry would probably see him through. You can see, and yeah, you've you got to be looking so. at bit Frank going on to cause a problem here. Trying to just disrupt that back line, those two CDMs. They're trying to sit in tight of Vieira and Hullet. Oh, well, that's a little bit risky there. Just about works out for him. But look at the press, five players around him. But now that's five players out of the game and a great chance to counter-attack. That's Hullet. the out ball. That's always the out ball. Ping to Ronaldo. If in danger, play to Ronaldo. He's always, I'd say 90, what, 8%, 97% of the time, he's winning that header. I think I actually remember Harry saying that, you know, when I was referencing it yesterday about how Ronaldo, for any casual player, is a great, he's great in, you know, he's just, the out ball. He's just an out ball. He's very good. At winning Especially it. out wide against the fullback, even the higher percentage chance he's going to win the header. He's looking to make a run down the line, just gone offside, but Ronaldo could be here. We in go. here. This is his chance now. Score this, you're going to be sending yourselves through to the semi-finals! And he's done exactly that! Oh, nine stepping up, the Brazilian scoring against the Brazilian FIFA player. He scored the opening goal for Harry and potentially scored the winning goal right now. R9 Ronaldo with 10 minutes left on the clock, 5-3. He leads. He's looking to set up a tie in the semi-finals alongside Dax, potentially, unless Bitfrank can show us a little bit of Brazilian magic here in London and overturn a two-goal deficit in the last 10 minutes. He's got 10 minutes to do it as well. And it would be one hell of a comeback for the players we said that was coming into today. 322nd in those global series rankings. Will be obviously a lot higher up now as he'll guarantee himself at least 150 global series ranking points from this one. I think I just saw a uh, high five between Desari and... Hasu there, I think that, uh, Hensu I should say, I think that is full time, 6-3. This will be the last game that we are waiting to conclude there. So you've got Stokes going through, Dax going through, Dasari going through, and if it does stay like this, it will be hashtag Harry joining him in the last four. If he can just keep it together now for the last 10 in-game minutes. And as I said, this is a massive game in the, the course of his season. Wins this. Over 700 Global Series ranking points to his name. Probably a playoff spot in that as well. And then that's when, you know, the pressure turns over him. I'm sure he's got there. Harry's going to get there. Ryan's Ryan, there. Pretty Ryan's much. Pretty Uncle much Cup performance alongside Shells with Man City. And then it turns on to Honey Badger next to, to, to try and push him on there. And hopefully he can go and win his game in that New Zealand E-Nations qualifier that he's travelled so far for. Of course, next week. That's what Harry had to do there. He had to defend... The first attack from the get-go from Bit Frank. He's done that successfully. He's keeping hold of the ball, ticking down that clock, and potentially booking his place into the semi-final right now. What has Bit Frank got in the locker? Has he got two goals, or if anything, a consolation? because the time is running out for him. There's the through ball on the far-hand side if he wanted to play it. There was a man over him, though, so probably made the right choice there. Just to keep it between the two, Marcelo, get rid. I think this is it, you know. He's given the ball away again. I don't think there's enough time. 
the offside down to the 90th minute now. Neymar's on their great feet, goes across. And that was a chance. That's the one play you don't want the ball to fall to in that kind of situation. Sergio Ramos just blazed it straight over the bar. And I think that will do us here, Richard. 5 3 the scoreline. And this sets up for a PSG Dax hashtag Harry semi final and an MS Dasari Rebel Stokes semi final, also, Richard. The four players that we said were probably the favourites coming in to this tournament on the Xbox of all that made it through to the semi finals Dax, Dasari, Harry, and Stokes. And I think that will be confirmed now as we're back on these two. It's going to get a bit of reaction as he does get through. Congratulations, hashtag Harry. You'd have to say that is the playoffs book for him there. Commiserations, bit frank. First event of the year. And he should be very proud for getting to the knockout stages.